What's up, Feel Good Nation? So what we want to go through today is low back pain for dancers that are experiencing pain with anything that they're doing, leaning forward. Yeah, so you're flexing a lot here or you've got a lot of repetitive motion and you get discomfort here. We're going to show you one exercise in an awesome Tabata format to get you feeling better. So Dr. Donald, go ahead and explain what we're going to do today. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, like Dr. Ben said, we're going to be showing you guys, we've shown you in the past some, some, some stuff for dancers, so we're going to keep going. Um, and we've had the opportunity to work with some awesome dancers, so we want to give that community as much as possible. But if you're not a dancer, this is a super common pain pattern um, for the low back to have pain bending forward, one of the most commons we see in, in the office. Um, and this is probably our favorite exercise. Once, once it's coached correct, correctly, it can be an absolute game changer for people. Um, so what I wanna make sure to do is make sure you guys are doing this correctly. So I'm gonna coach you through this exercise. I just want you to focus up, listen up, and then we'll go over the routine afterwards, okay? So let's go face down. So that's the, the, the first part is going face down. And what I want you guys to do um, so this can be a good starting position, right, to let some things relax. And I don't want you guys to overlook some simple stuff like breathing. Okay, so Dr. Ben, I want you to, to breathe into the ground. And what he's trying to do is, is expand his belly into the ground. And what that actually does is relax these muscles back here, okay? Okay, Dr. Ben, let's go ahead and uh, let's come up on your elbows like you're reading a book or watching TV in front of you, whatever you prefer. Perfect. And again, this is really important um, to breathe correctly here. So what Dr. Ben is doing, again, same thing as, as before, is breathing into the ground. And again, that's loosening up here, okay? We want the butt cheeks and the low back to be super relaxed, okay? Good. And then now what I want you to do, uh, you kind of heard a noise and you kind of have to check what it is, but you have to see over the coffee table. And I just want you to use your arms, all arms, no back. Very important. Good. Do a couple reps of these. Good. Perfect. Good. Now go back to reading the book. So important note is when he was pressing up to look over that coffee table, using just arms is massively important. We don't want this to be active or else you're going to smash some things. These, these muscles cause some, some uh, compression of the low back as well. Okay, let's go ahead and look over that coffee table again. Good. And side note here, he's all the way up. He's pretty comfortable. Show them what it would look like if maybe it wasn't too comfortable on the top. Yeah, you could just reduce your range of motion. You can move your arms out or you could just not press as high. Maybe you're looking over just a small, tiny coffee table, right? Until that gets very comfortable. Now let's get comfortable like you're really comfortable into that extension position. You all the way over that coffee table. Yes, that's the goal. We're leaving those hips on the ground and we're seeing what's over that coffee table. Good, and then the rest position is go ahead and read that book and get comfortable. Perfect. So let's go ahead and sit you up. So this exercise is massively successful in our practice. And oftentimes it's because of those coaching tips. Like what we see some people do is just really strain the low back by trying to crank themselves back there with the low back muscles. It's really not that, right? What we're trying to do every time we're looking over that coffee table is we're creating a pumping sensation. It's really good for the low back. Um, but if you use that low back muscle, you're probably gonna irritate some stuff. So you have those regression options. Uh, the resting position is reading the book. The active position is taking reps and peeking over that coffee table. Okay, so the routine is a Tabata format. So you're, when you're peeking over the coffee table, you're doing that for 20 seconds straight. And then once 20 seconds hits, you're resting, reading that book, breathing, right? And then once that 10 seconds hit of rest hits, you go back to the looking over the coffee table. You repeat that four times for a total of two minutes, right? Um, and we often try to shoot for anywhere between 15 to 25 reps every time we do this in office. So this is a great routine for you to, to, do, to do and loosen up that low back. Yeah, the only thing I'd like to add is just 
personally also experiencing some low back pain myself. It kind of varies. Some days feel better, some days feel worse. So my personal routine with this sometimes is just the up, focusing on the breathing. Yeah. And I'll do four Absolutely. sets like that. As I loosen up, sometimes it's two sets of that and two sets of the press ups. And it's not always one is better than the other. It's really doing what's best for you that day. This, for sure. That would probably be the key to uh, understanding this motion better. Yeah, and, and if this was really successful for you and, and, and helped you quite a bit, um, we would love to work with you. Um, that's a really good sign, and we know that we can help you get back to doing the things you love to do. So shoot us a message, whether you're looking at this through Instagram or YouTube. Um, if it's on Instagram, shoot us a direct message. If YouTube, I don't think you can, so shoot us an email. Uh, info at kirehab.com. Again, that's info at kirehab.com. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, even if it's just, hey, I'd love for you guys to shoot a video on this, or um, I have this question. Maybe we can shoot you in the right direction with some of the videos we already have, or maybe it'd be good for you to do a virtual session if you're not local, or come in to the, to the office if you are local in San Diego. So um, thank you for watching as always, and look forward to seeing you guys next time. Stay tuned. Peace, guys.